Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of How to Punish. Today we're looking at the God of Thunder himself, Raiden. Uh, Raiden is an awesome character, probably my favourite character in the game, in the sense of just storyline wise, in this game anyway, storyline wise and aesthetic and the way that his moves look and, and work. However, he is quite an easy character to punish. So, don't, you don't see many Raidens online, but when you do, I think a lot of them try to take advantage of people's ability to um, a, the ability to not punish things. So basically, they're trying to take advantage of people's ignorance when it comes to the matchups. So they might do stuff that you think, oh man, how are they doing this? This is really a pain in my ass. Um, but it is probably unsafe, and I'm going to show you how to punish everything now. So... Uh, he has, as everyone does, he has two variations. He has Raijin and he has Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave? Thunder Wave, yeah. However, nobody plays Raijin because it is complete, it's more or less completely useless outside of... So Raiden, basically in Raijin, the whole gimmick of it is he has a move which he can um, potentially... Basically, he charges it up and if he discharges it, if you hit him three times, it amplifies his block, basically, and then he can do a four-frame reversal. So four, having a four-frame reversal is amazing, because obviously it's the fastest move in the game. However, the practical applications of it are very limited. Um, so nobody ever uses Raijin. So we're going to stick with... St uh, we're just going to look at Thunder Wave, because unless anything changes in the not-too-distant future, this is the spec that I, I play, and that the top-level Raidens generally tend to play. So... Because I play Raiden, I can give you a little bit more insight on um, on how he plays as well. So, standing one, seven frames, very good. Minus four, not the best frame data, but having a seven frame standing one, it's very useful. Back one, this is his main mid hit confirm. Eleven frames, this is pretty decent. Minus seven as well, it is safe. So if he hits you with a down one, he's probably going to go into the back. <clears throat> back one, in, which is back one two, which is his main combo starter. So eleven frames. That's a really good mid. So be careful as well as you, as you can see the range is pretty solid. So be careful of from this sort of distance because he can whiff punish you with back one. Um, forward one is a high, as you can see sixteen frame start up. It's quite good as an anti air if he gets a predictive jump on you. So be careful of that. And uh, as you can see as well, another quite long range move, so if you're whiffing a button from quite far away, he does have the potential to, even though just that went through, do you see that? It went through Garrus's head. Oh my gosh, hitbox, please, did you see that? Did you actually see, look, look at the staff, I don't know if it's just because of the staff I chose. <gasps> it's going through, oh mate, no, no, it went through, it went through his completely! <laughs> Alright, alright, that, that might be a bit detracting from the point, but, yeah, so... I mean, it's still a, it's still a, it's still a, oh mate, that is so whack. But, um, yeah, there you go. Forward one, quite a long range, and sometimes it will hit you. Down one is also seven frames, minus three on block, so that's quite fast. Standing two is a high, 11 frames two, is 11 frames as well rather, minus four, which is safe. Back two, so this is his overhead, or one of his overheads. Um... Very, very slow, and minus 18 a block. So essentially, so basically, back to in Mortal Kombat X was one of the best um, normals in the game, because you can combo off it. So what Raiden would do is, it was really fast, he'd get you in the corner, he'd hit you with two, it'd combo into himself, and he'd get big damage. Um, so in this game, they nerfed it into the ground, essentially. Um, you can still hit people with it, but if a Raiden tries to get you with it, and you block, like, so if he gets you in the corner, and he's trying to read you, trying to trying to hit you with a back two. Minus 18, you've got all the time in the world to punish it. So, very, very slow start. And it's got 43 frames of recovery as well. So even if he misses, so let's just show, let me just show you. Uh, this is why, as a Raiden player, this move really upsets me. Observe. See, that was a punish. Look how much... Look how long after he finishes you have to punish. 
Yeah, that was a bit far away. See? So if you see him doing that back two from that distance and he whips, because the range of it is really, really short as well. See? The second hand comes out a little bit, but well, what they'll try and do is they'll get you with the Superman dive into the corner and then they'll probably try and follow you up with that. But look, even if they whiff, you've got all the time in the world to punish it. But um, yeah, back two, make sure you punish. Forward two is a good move. It is a high. But, as you can see, minus three on block is safe, and um, it's quite, again, quite good for whiff punishing. May mostly it's used in combos, but be, be careful of this, because he can get you if you're not, maybe do like a, a further range teleport, and then try and get you with it if you're moving forward. So, yeah, be careful of the forward too. But it is a high, so you can, if you get the read... Raidens don't generally tend to use it because of forward 4, but I'll get to that in a minute. But if you do think they're going to use it, if they've, if they've used it a lot, it is a high. You can duck it and punish it with a down 2. Rising Lightning is his uppercut. That's, this is actually pretty decent, 9 frames. Chop Kick is a high, which is actually plus 3 on block. So be careful of this. Again, not many Raidens tend to use this in, in neutral. <coughs> Pardon me. This is mostly his... This is his main uh, combo... Main damage... Max damage combo starter, but... Generally, you won't tend to see it because it is a high, so it is quite risky just to throw it out uh, in neutral, especially with people down one and down two -ing. But yeah, just so you know, that's plus three on block. Then you've got back three, which is a low. So this is quite a good one. So essentially, the mix up minus nine it is unsafe. So if they just do minus, if they just do back three, you can punch it. But this is where the mix up, his only mix up is, is if you do get hit with back two in the corner, there he does have a crushing blow attached to it. So. I'll show you the crushing blow. I'll show you. I'll show you the scenario actually, so you're so you're ready um, in case the situation is going to arise. So you're in the corner, right? You've been Superman dived into the corner at the end of the combo. You wake up. You don't have any meter, for example, because you can roll or do whatever you want to do. But what happens is he hits you with the overhead. Sorry, he hits you with one overhead, and then you think, okay, he's hit me with the overhead. I'm going to block high. That's when he does the back three, which is a low. So it is a minus 9, so if you block it, it is safe if he just does the minus 9. But be careful because he's either going to do this. I mean, you, you can react to it. You can the, the overhead is slow enough that people can react to it. So if you think you can react to it, block low and then block high. But just be careful if you don't think you can react to it. Because if he hits you with a second one, he's going to get a crushing blow into a full combo. So... Yeah, that's the mix-up, is that he's going to get you in the corner, he's either going to go for the overhead, and if he goes for the overhead and you block high, he's going to go for the um, for the low. So, yeah, just to, just to let you know, that's, that, that'll be the situation that you might find yourself in. But as I said, the overhead is super easy to punish, and the... Um, and reactable too, and the low is unsafe if he does minus three, and I'll show you now, which I only found out on Saturday watching... Um, Mortal Kombat at Evo, so he can make it. Oh, he can make it safe if he does back three one. So back three is minus nine. Back three one is minus six. But as you can see, it's safe and it pushes you away. However, and I hope that this is still the case. You can flawless block it. So, yeah first time. So as you can see, his mix-up isn't really a mix-up, so you don't have to be afraid. If he does if he does hit you with the overhead and you think you can react to it a second time, then block low and you can either he'll finish with the back three, which is minus nine, which is blockable, or you can flawless block the back three one and then get a full up to punish uh, like that. So... I actually did, like I said, I actually didn't know that until um, until I saw somebody flawless block it on Saturday at Evo. So, go through the rest of his moves. He's got forward three. This is actually a mid, so this is also 11 frames. It looks like a high, but it is actually a mid. Minus six, it is safe. But you have to be careful of this one because it does have much more range than a uh, back one. So if he thinks you're going to... 
with a button, he can quite easily whiff punish you. Um, with uh, with forward three. So minus six is safe. He's got his down three is eight frames, which is pretty decent as well. And as you can see, it's got quite a long range. So minus three as well. It's safe. Standing four, which is a high, ten frames. Minus two, which is safe. It's a fairly decent NC air, but other than that, it's not got much practical use. I use it sometimes in a combo to, to for scaling what purposes, but yeah, it's not it's not any move that you tend to have to worry about in neutral. Uh, then you've got four four. This is this is probably his best normal forward four, right? Nineteen frames start up, minus three on block it is safe, it's also a mid, but this move, as you can see, the range of it is pretty far so he can definitely whiff punish you with this and if he thinks you're going to press the buttons afterwards minus three he is safe he can go into a special move sort of like a frame trap so yeah be very careful of um, forward two and forward four because they're both they're both they're both 19 frame stops that well sorry they're both fast fast ish startups but they the main uh, danger of them is for both of them is they travel a long distance yeah, I do. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. <sighs> yeah, we'll get to that. And I mean, I've already just covered that. But somebody in my chat just said, Anisha in my chat said, back 3-1 is minus 10 on Flawless Bok. Yeah, so <laughs> that's, that is why Raiden is a B-tier character. Um, but yeah, he has he does have some good normals, as you can see. 4-2, four, 4-3, four, and they're both special cancelable. So yeah, just be wary if he's hitting you with these from range. Um, and then lastly, down four is his sweep. What is another sweep? So you've got this sweep, which is minus five, and you've got this one, which is minus seven. So a fairly decent range, but nothing nothing too gimmicky that you need to worry about. Um, strings. So Raiden's strings are... He's got a few, I mean... Not all of them are practical, but we can. Um, I'll show you which ones you're most likely to encounter. One, two. That's his fastest punish. Uh, it's got one. It's got a bit of a weird hitbox, so they probably won't. It might be difficult for them to punish you with a one, especially if you've got a move that where the hitbox leaves you a little bit further back. You can try and abuse that because standing one might not reach you. Um, so you see, he leans back a little bit when he does it. But, so you got set, 1, 2, it's minus 6, 1, 2, 1, minus 4. Uh, this is a crushing blow though, so be careful. This is, this is the main thing that they're probably going to use this for, is to try and um, crushing blow counter hit you. He, do, he doesn't get a combo afterwards, but it does do a lot of damage, so be careful of that. you got back 1, 2, which is minus 9, so definitely make sure you can, um, you can punish that. As I said, this is his main hit confirm. Back one would be one of his main hit confirm. So if he doesn't hit confirm it and he's just trying to stagger you with back one twos, then um, minus nine, you can punish that and get full punish from that every single time. And he's got back one, two, one, three, but it's, it's an on hit, um, on hit throw basically. But I'll show you what it does just so you're aware if you get hit by it. He just teleports and gets the knockdown. So if he does hit you with it and he doesn't um, go into a, a full combo, he does this cool little teleport and just slams you. So it'll, it'll knock you down basically. Um, but he can, as I said, he can only do that on on hit. So he can't he can't just hit you with it outside. It's not a frame trap. Uh, back one four is his overhead. So he can either do back one two, which is unsafe, or back one four, which is a high, which is also unsafe. So if he's trying to stagger you with back ones, you've got no reason really to block low because um, both of these are massively punishable after minus 14 is super duper unsafe. So if you do block the overhead, I mean be wary that it is an overhead, but if you do block it, minus 14, make sure you super punish it. And you've got forward one. So this is the forward one I was telling you about before that's going through Garrus's head. So it's a high-low, 
So be careful about that. If you're about this range, this is probably his best like string whiff punishing from long range. Um, and he can special cancel it, obviously, so be careful. But minus five is safe, so you can't punish him after one one. But if he does one one two, which is a mid, it's minus thirteen. So again, very, very punishable string. I'm not entirely sure what even the point. The only time I've ever had use of one one two in when I've been using Raiden is if people try and press buttons after 1-1. One, one. So, or they think you're just going to stop after 1-1 one, one because you only really tend to do 1-1. One, one. Uh, but if a Raiden does do 1-1-2 one, one, on you, minus 13, super punishable. 2-1. Uh, High mid, minus 7. You don't, you won't, people won't really do this in neutral. 2-4. Uh, this is an interesting string because it is a high-low. So if you're high blocking, I think mostly against Raiden, the best thing to do is to high block. Because outside back three, he doesn't have many lows. I mean, he's got 1-1, one, one, which is high low. And then he's got 2-4, which is high low. But they're mid-string. So there's no reason really to block uh, low unless you think they're going to do a, a down three. Sorry, a back three. Um, so minus eight, that's actually unsafe. 2-4, but you can finish the string off with 2-4-3. This is mainly used as a combo ender in the corner. So you do 2-4-3 into a Superman dive. Um, but the 2-4-3 is safe. 2-4 is not safe, it's a low, so you can block it low. Hi. How are you doing, Pumi Speed? You good? So yeah, make sure you block block low on the second hit but the full string is safe so lastly we'll go to his special moves wait did I go through all of his moves no I didn't still got more moves but yeah of course he does yeah so he's got three two this is what I mean he's got so many moves even though I play raid and I don't even tend up using most of them three two minus three on block 3, 2, 1, plus 1 on block, but I definitely feel like you can flawless block that, so let's, let's test, shall we? I've never ever used this move in, uh, in neutral. Plus 1 actually leaves him at advantage. Yeah, you can flawless block it. So, yeah, if they do, um, if you see a Raiden doing a, uh, 3, 2, and they, you think they're going to do their pull trigger on the 1 to get the plus frames. Oh, nice. Greetings from London in Thailand. How was your weekend? Are you okay? Yeah, if you think he's going to pull the trigger on the 1 at the end and get the plus frames, you can flawless block it. Um, you've got back 3, 1. So we've, we've spoken about back 3, 1 already. You can flawless block the 1. So, this is low. I mean, the low is minus 9. It is unsafe, but it can hit you from quite far away, so be careful. As I said, high blocking generally is probably the best thing to do against Raiden, but just be careful of getting hit by the back three. What in between? There's an eleven string gap between back, back three and back, uh, back three one, or or three two. Sorry, some Anishin in my chat has just told me that there's an eleven string gap. Between which one? Three, two, one. So I'm just double. I'm just clarifying what was told to me in my chat, just because I, I want to see if, if if I can show you something cool. He can also. Um, he has a similar on hit throw in with uh, back three one, but. As, as with the other one, it's only on... Ah! 11 frame gap, so you can interrupt it potentially with... Um, with a jab. Let's see which one he means. What am I doing? So we'll do... So it's not that one. So it must be the 3 2. Uh, I 
Yeah, so there you go. So if you... So it's an 11 frame... There's actually a massive... Thank you, Anishian, for the heads up. So Anishian in my chat just said there's an 11 frame gap. As you can see, if you block the 3-2... Well, if you block the 3-2 and you're not super slow, you can interrupt it and get a full cobble. No, no, no. Dude, please do. Please do. Um, if, you, if you have any other tidbits like that while I'm doing stuff, please let me know, because that's the whole point of it. No, no, no. Don't be silly, man. I appreciate it. I'd rather you told me and um, I could put it in the video than telling me afterwards. So yeah, if you've got any more tidbits like that, please do. Please let me know. I never apologize. Anisian streams as well, by the way. It's spelled E-N-A-C-I-N. -E He's got a good noob. Check him out on his Twitch. He's a knowledgeable dude. Um, so yeah, as you can see, big gap in between that. Again, I've, you don't really see Raidens tend to use it. But if they do use it, make sure that you get a punish. It's 3, 2, 1. Um, now, I appreciate the heads up, dude. Uh, what was I showing you? Yeah, just to, just to show you what the on-hit of this is. I mean, he does that cool little lightning thing and blasts you full screen. So, again, you, you probably rarely see that because he can't do it on block. He can only do it on hit, and if he hit you with a back 3-1, he's probably going to hit confirm into a, a storm cell. Um, and then lastly, he's got forward 3-2. So, forward 3 is what I was telling you about before, to be careful of. 11 frames, minus 6 on block. And he is a mid-mid string, which is also um, minus 6. So it is safe. Uh, and it can it's, it's a fairly decent anti-air as well. If, they, if you think you're going to catch people jumping backwards... It works similarly to Garrus's forward 3 2, um, you know, with a little head bite at the end. It can catch people um, if they jump a bit late. But yeah, no gaps there. Quite a good stagger tool, so be careful if they're doing that. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Mostly just worry about the forward 3 and the back one. Um, and yeah, so those are his normal moves. And it's like by bait and switch to this time. And we're going to do Storm Cell last because I want to show you exactly what we're dealing with there. So, he's got his special moves. Raiden wouldn't be Raiden without his Lightning Blast. Minus 9, obviously if he does it in your face, it is unsafe. Uh, and you can punish it. It is a high. The first hit is a high. I mean, sorry. The, the main lightning bolt is a high. But if he amplifies it, it is a mid. So if you duck the first one, be careful. Because you can amplify it. And then the second one is a mid. So you can't duck the second one. Uh, much like Sonya Blade's amplified um, energy blasts. Uh, he also has lightning strike. Which is this... Um, uh, Lightning move. He can do it close, close, medium, or far. So be careful here as well. If you if you try and if you think he's going to do the lightning bolt and you duck from full screen, he can hit you with the lightning strike. However, it is as you can see minus twenty nine. So what that means is if you've got a, a full screen special move like um, uh, Cetrion's geyser, and I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Pretty sure Garrus is uh, Sand Trap. Just gonna jump all the way back. Punish. Did you see? So be very careful if you are well if you are Raiden using it. But if Raiden does use it against you from full screen and you do have a full screen special move, you can punish it, reversal punish it, a hundred percent of the time. Minus twenty nine, super duper duper punishable. So. You know, if you've got a fast, maybe Scorpion's Teleport, or, like I said, Cetrion's Geyser is 100% punished, Garrus's Sand Trap is 100% punished, so don't let him get away with doing full screen lightning strikes, because the recovery on it is, on the, the hit advantage on block is massively minus, so just be very wary of that. Um, but yeah, he can do it at ranges, and he can amplify it as well, So, but that's only on hit, and it just does two hits, so... It does a fair amount of damage, but um, he can only amplify on here. 
then we come to one of the moves that is specific to this variation is his teleport. So this is one of Raiden's main mix-up mix up tools is you'll see that maybe they'll do sometimes they like to cancel into it. Can you really do it on here? Yeah, maybe they'll try and do... Maybe can I do... Oh, no, there you go. So, they'll try and do a string and then teleport behind you. So, just be wary of the teleport. Um, you can down one it every time, basically. So, it's not safe. Um, but he can do multiple ranges. So, be careful if... Uh, I mean, he can do it on the spot as well, as you can see. So he, there is a little bit of a mix-up, and he can actually amplify it as well, where he does this and he goes backwards and forwards like that. So it, it can be a bit tricky if you're not ready for it, and if you're not careful as well, he can condition you to block it. So maybe they'll just keep doing far ones, and then you think he's going to do a far one and you're safe, and then he teleports up to you and does a fatal blow, or like back one, or confirms into something like that. So just be careful of the teleport, basically, because like all characters that teleport, you know, any character that can that can defy the normal movement in a game is it, it, a strong option so just be wary like I said he can do an in place one or he can do a far one or he can do a, sh a short one and go right next to you so three different ones and he can actually amplify the normal one so to do two quick ones so just be careful basically uh, I've seen some really good Raidens on Twitter they actually use it to bait wake ups so you know you go to do if they read your wake up they actually just teleport behind you and get a full punish so just be careful about it basically that is it is definitely one of his best moves but it is specific to the thunder wave variation um, and then you have electric fly which is one of Ragin's signature moves and Storm Cell. And we're going to talk about Storm Cell last because it is his main move in this variation and it has the most to talk about basically. But we'll talk about Electric Fly. So, Raiden Superman Dive, super booper booper minus, minus 27. Mostly you'll see this used as a combo ender because it has massive corner carry. So, this is his main co combo ender, so it's probably going to get, try and get you into the corner regardless. Um, but it is super unsafe on blocks. So if he does just pull the trigger on it, you can get a big punish. Even though sometimes, if it's online or if you're not, if you don't think he's going to do it, it can catch you off guard. But more often than not, you should be able to get a full punish on it every time. Um, and he can amplify it as well, which has a little bit more damage on the end of it. Um, but what you can, what they've given him, in, I think in this game, I don't think it was an X, but I could be completely mistaken, is he has the ability to cancel it. So if you see, he can delay it, and then he can cancel it. So that's this is where little mix-ups come in, basically. You think he's going to do it, you go to press a button and punish it, and he's already gone backwards, and then he can maybe hit you with a forward 3, or a forward 1-1, one, one. Uh, sorry, a forward 4 or forward 1-1. One, one. So just be careful if he, if he um, I mean, it's, again, it's not safe. If you get the read, you can punish it, but... Um, they will try, they can have the potential to do this on you and try and mix you up or just to get them out of dodge basically if, if, if they finally get a stagger but if they do pull the trigger on it again and they hold it and they try and catch you out to try and punish it it's always minus 27 so you can definitely punish it um, more often than not they'll cancel it, at the, as you can see it's at the cost of a defensive bar as well so it works similarly to Scorpion's Reborn Teleport cancel um, but yeah, just be careful basically if they if they start to cancel. As I said, it is unsafe. So, but if you're not quick enough, they can then whiff punish you with something. So, it's just an, it's just another option. It's just another option that he has. Uh, and lastly, but by no means leastly, we have Storm Cell. So, in fact, Storm Cell is is a very important move. So I'm actually going to just clear all the other ones. It does, oh, uh, the Superman Dive does have a crushing blow attached if he hits you from full screen, but I've never actually managed to do it, so <laughs> I'm sure that the better Raiden players than me can uh, can hit with it, but yeah, be careful because he does have a crushing blow attached to that. Um, so Storm Cell, right. 
Storm Cell, in theory, is an amazing move. And if you don't know what it does, it can be extremely frustrating to fight against. So, this is what it looks like. He does his arms in like a wushu motion, and then these lightning thingies come out, and the range is quite far as well as you can see. So, one thing a Raiden will do is they like to get you in the corner. I mean, as a Garrus player, I've fallen for this before, is they get you in the corner, and then, so we'll do right, and we'll switch up block, and then we'll do get up attack. Titan charge. So you knock him down. You see, and it's a really good meaty attack. If you actually meaty the move. So it can even work against the invincible reversal if you space yourself properly. Oops. In fact it covers a lot of options because even if they roll, it's quite active. So not too far away. Dang it. Can you see? That's an invincible reversal. But I'm just out of range. So, be very, very careful of Storm Cell, of doing stuff on Wake Up, because it is a cryogenic. How you doing, dude? It is a really good meaty tool. So, if, they, if they've got the read on you for doing um, Wake Ups, just be very careful, because it can be used to stuff anything that you do on Wake Up, even in, as you've seen, even an invincible one, because it is so active. Um, does it cover a roll as well? I'm pretty sure it covers a roll. Let's do get a forward roll. Yeah, it even covers a forward roll, you see, punish. So, it's an, it's an amazing move when it's used as a Wake Up option, especially in the corner, so just be very, very wary um, of trying to do something uh, against Raiden if he's shown that he is going to do that to you on wake up because it covers a lot of options and obviously it covers jump as well um, can you do wake up jump? no, but it definitely covers jump as well um, it's also his main combo yeah, it's also his main combo extender so as you can see if you launch a guy so he'll do that to you, so that's just like a normal bread and butter, and get you, pushes you in the corner. However, the reason, this is the main, main, main thing you need to worry about when you're fighting Raiden, right? So we'll record him doing it. You see that? The last hit of the Storm Cell is a high. So you can block the first two, duck the last one, and get a full punish every single time. Every single time without fail, there is no reason to ever get hit by that last hit, unless you're unaware. That wasn't punish because I was too so. See, if you if you mistime it, so if you try and interrupt it too early, you will get hit by it, and it is a counter hit. See, so you have to be careful. You do have to make sure you duck it at the right time, but. Do not let Raidens get away with pressuring you with this move. They'll do stuff like this. So we'll go to record. They'll do stuff like this. Do back one, two. See, I did it too early. You can punish it every single time. The last hit of Storm Cell is a high. Uh, I can't say it enough times. It is a high, it is a high, it is a high. You can block the first two, and then you can duck the last one and get a full punish. What a lot of Raidens like to do is they will do stuff like this as well. They'll do down three into Storm Cell if they think you're going to press a button, or down one into Storm Cell if they think you're going to trade buttons. So. Just be wary if, because you know it can get really frustrating. Because obviously that down three into storm cell is not a combo, but if they do a down three, and they think you're going to press a button afterwards, you will get hit by the storm cell into a full combo. So just be careful of that, because that is an option. But if they're doing it, 
yeah, as Anishin just said, some characters can actually get a down two crushing blow as well. If they're if they're down to like a Baraka or a Jade, can definitely get a down two crushing blow um, from blocking it and then ducking the last hit. So just always, always remember this is a this is a pressure you've seen. It can be used as a pressure tool. It can be used as an anti air. It can be used as a meaty wake up option. So be careful of it. But also, if he's do if he's doing it to you on block, like he might do forward three, he might do forward two, he might do one one. Anything that you block and he cancels it into it, and you've blocked the f whatever it is at the start, you can duck every single time. and get a full punish. That's the main, main thing you have to worry about with Raiden. Just make sure that you duck it every single time. Um, but yeah, that's all with Raiden. Uh, I mean, he's he's a super cool character, but he, as you can see, the frame data on his moves isn't great, so don't let him get, don't let him get away with stuff like um, Back one two, that's not safe. That's minus nine. Back one four, that's not safe. It's minus I think it was fourteen or thirteen. Back one three is safe, but there's a big gap in it. You can flawless block it. The overhead is super minus. The range is really short, and it is takes ages to recover. Forty three frames of recovery. Even if he's punished doing it from this far away, you can just dash up and get a full punish. Um, watch out for the teleports. Um, but the main thing, as, I've, as I keep, I cannot reiterate enough, unless it gets patched out, mid, mid, high. Duck it. Duck the last hit every time and make sure you punish it. Uh, thank you, Anishin, for those tips as well. As I said, follow Anishin on stream, on Twitch, because he's the top dude. Uh, that's all for this video. Um, if, as I said, I'm recording this on my Twitch. Come find me, twitch.tv slash sodiumgym. Come and hang out. Um, when Nightwolf comes out, I'll be playing a lot of Nightwolf, so... Get ready for Nightwolf hype. Find me on Twitter at Sodium Gym. Give my video a like. Give me a subscribe as well, please. That'd be awesome if you if you want to, obviously. Um, let me know if there's anything I can do differently in the comments. I've got the whole series of characters now. So if there's any character, and obviously I'm going to be doing them for the DLC characters as they come out. So my Liu Kang video's got loads of views. People seem to like that. My Scorpion one's got loads of views. People seem to like that. But as I said, this is it's the same format for all the characters. So just come and um, give them all a watch. Uh, and that's all from me for now. That's Raiden. Make sure you punish his lightning ass and stay salty. Take care, everyone. <laughs>